Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, children. It's my privilege and great pleasure to welcome you to this wonderful day of celebration for the marriage of Courtney and Scott. I'd like to start today by thanking you all for joining us today to make this a very special and memorable occasion for the couple. I'm sure you'll agree this has been an exceptional venue today for the ceremony and the continuation of our celebrations this evening. I still get sore cheeks smiling with pride at the things that you have done in the past. Even when you moved into working life, you took this charm and eagerness to succeed with you. You've always been an outgoing and very popular girl as well as being so talented. I'm sure everyone will agree that you look absolutely stunning today, but then again, as much as I don't say it, as I, you look absolutely stunning to me every day. You truly do make my heart whole. You're cute. So, but no, I'd just like to raise a toast to my beautiful wife, Courtney. Nothing. <laughs> So, Courtney, I have to tell you, you look positively radiant in that beautiful wedding dress. And your mum and I are very, very proud of you today. Of course, that's nothing new. We've always been proud of you. And good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to this beautiful setting of Crockwell Farm, which has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriages. And we are here today to witness and to celebrate the marriage of Scott and Courtney. And on their behalf, may I thank you for joining with them in this, the celebration of their very special day. And we hope today is going to be happy and a memorable day <laughs> for all of you, but especially for Scott. Traditionally, the wedding ceremony is marked by the exchange of rings. And these rings are a symbol of the unbroken circle of love and are an outward sign of the lifelong promises that you are making to each other. So Courtney, I give you this ring. Courtney, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as a token of our love. And as a token of our love. I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. To remain true to you. To remain true to you. And to love and respect you always. To love and respect you always. You slide the ring onto Courtney's finger. Place it on Scott's wedding ring finger. Hold it there as you say these words to him. Scott, I give you this ring. Scott, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. And as a token of our love. And as our token of our marriage. The love. The love. <laughs> I promise to care for you. I promise to care for you. To remain true to you. To remain true to you. And to love. And to love. And respect you. And respect you always. And can you slide the ring onto the finger? Scott Andrew Callahan and Courtney Page Plumbridge, you have now made your declarations of marriage as prescribed by law. And through them, you have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in the presence of your witnesses, your family and friends that are here today. So it now gives me the greatest of pleasure to pronounce you are lawfully joined together as husband and wife. Would you like to do it? First of all, Cordy and I would like to thank all of you for coming today. It means so much to us to have everyone we love and care about here to share our special day. Also, a big thanks to those who've had long journeys to make. As parents, uh, we all live in hope that one day our daughters will find a partner, settle down and get married. Some of our guests have travelled quite a distance to be here today. Uh, so a quick shout out and special thank you to those who have had to fly in. No matter what you've done, however big or small, without you this wouldn't have been possible. Now you've all played your part to make today very special and it's much appreciated. 
Days like today don't just happen. We've been planning this wedding for two years. When I say we, Courtney has been planning it for the last seven. And actually, done pretty much all of the work over the last two. One of the best things I've found out about organising a wedding, they just seem to happen. <laughs> The amount of effort Courtney has put into making today possible is incredible. From the hours of lolly making by her and Laura, only for the first 10 hour batch to deform. Please welcome into the room Mr. and Mrs. Callahan. <laughs> the next stage of your life is most exciting of all, and honestly, this day has been breathtaking. We're all rooting for you guys. Honeymoon, a few nights of rest, then. Baby making? <laughs> Cheers to my ex-wife, her new husband, yeah. to Court and Scott. Long live your happy little wedding bubble. Oh. Yes. Yes. Corny, you look amazing today, along with all the bridesmaids. It's not often I compliment you, but you look stunning. I bet your mum and dad are so proud. Probably not as proud as you are of your dad. Scott, I'm proud to call you a best friend, someone who thrives for better in life, He's always there for the closest people around him, and I know one day he'll make a great dad. I can't wait for many more holidays and memories as a squad. Can we all raise our glasses to Mr. and Mrs. Callahan? And we all want the best for our daughters and hope that they find the right one. The one that will make them happy, the one that will make them feel cherished, and the one who will look after them always. We honestly believe Courtney couldn't have met and fallen in love with anyone nicer than Scott. So I thought I'd finish with a few words of advice for you both. And that is to always put each other first and talk about everything openly and honestly. And remember, that whilst neither of you will be perfect, with the strength of love, mutual respect and understanding, you'll be perfect for each other. Marriage is ultimately a partnership based on these key values. So if you always keep them in your mind, your marriage will be long, happy and successful one. I promise you both that I will always love and care for her. The love and acceptance shown from all the Plumbridges and Brodericks to me and my family is something I will always appreciate. Now to my beautiful wife, Corny. Thank you for agreeing to marry me. I'm not sure I had much choice as it was always going to happen when the engagement ring photos started coming before you even officially started dating. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, I ask you to please be upstanding and join me in raising your glasses to a toast for a very long, happy and healthy future together. To the bride and groom. Oh, yeah.